you get a big beast like that over into the water? Well, first you need one of these guys, a 200 ton crane. And then, well, you're gonna need a forklift. Why do you need a forklift when we've got a 200 ton crane? Well, we'll get to that a little bit later. And then you just tie on the straps, which is always a little scary. With me tying the knots, means that nobody else can blame me if something goes epically wrong. And now the exciting bit, it's time to go. So, here we go, up, up, up. And this, this right here is the best moment of the day. Check this out. When this goes in the water, it becomes a boat again. for? Well, when we pick up the mast, with one end, with the crane, we need to pick up the other end with this thing, otherwise it would drag on the ground. And that's not good. So we just attached the, the two deck spreaders together. You'll notice that this tube, 27 meters long as it is, has no spreaders on it whatsoever. This makes for a really fast profile, super aerodynamic mast and uh, we've got the J3, the J2, the fractional, as we keep on coming up here, we've got the, uh, the J0, and then finally the A2 and the A3 um, halyard. So lots of toys to play with, but just look at this profile, look how long it is. 27 meters of perfectly smooth, slippery carbon fiber. And so that is how you do it. All you need is two and a half hours, eight people, one massive crane, little forklift, and uh, the result is there. Boat in the water, ready to head off again. So I can't wait to see you out there on the water again.